the first seven years of life. That's why poor people stay poor and rich people stay rich. The movie The Matrix is not science fiction. It's a documentary. Every human, and it's a fact, every human first seven years is, uh, is download a hypnosis. The brain of a, a child under seven is in a lower vibrational frequency. When you put wires on a, a person's head, you read electroencephalograph, reading brain activity. A child below seven has a lower vibration than consciousness. It's called theta. Theta is imagination. Oh, that's how kids play a, a tea party with mud pies, but to them it's a real thing. A kid rides a broom, it's a horse. It's, that's theta, imagination. Theta is also hypnosis. And the idea is this, before you can become conscious, if you don't have any programs, what are you gonna be conscious of? So nature makes the first seven years, how, what kind of programs are required to live on this planet? I say, how do you get them? Theta is hypnosis. You just watch, you watch your parents, you watch your siblings and your community because you have to learn how many hundred thousand rules, think about it. Just to be a functional member of a family and a functional member of a community, there are rules. I got teach an infant these rules. It's like, oh, you don't have to. First seven years, they just they observe it and just download it. Look, this is not new. I mean, there's the famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And basically said, you come from a poor family and you could struggle your whole life and try to get rich, but you're not going to make it. And if you come from a rich family, you could be stupid your whole life and make it. Not because it was thinking, but it was unconscious behavior that was downloaded from rich families into kids, uh, which is unconscious. So they're, they're making the right moves unconsciously. If they engage their conscious mind, then they look stupid, but it's unconscious. And that's the same thing with poor people. Poor people have beliefs from the family Oh, you can't make it, life's a struggle, things are hard, who do you think you are? And if that's the program you get, then 95% of the day you will sabotage yourself. And that's why poor people stay poor and rich people stay rich, because of the programming. 95% of our life, this is a fact, comes from those programs in the subconscious. Every day, only about 5% of their life are you using conscious, which is creative. 5%. So your life is being lived, even though you think you're living your life. Exactly, and you don't see it because it's called subconscious, below conscious. And the Jesuits, for 400 years, they were boasting. People didn't understand. They say, give me a child until it's seven and I will show you the man. They've been saying that for 400 years because they knew seven years was the program period. And 95% of your life after that will be whatever that program is. So. You don't have to try and think about what happened. I just say, look at your life. The things you like that come into your life come in because you have a program that supports them. But anything you struggle with, work hard at, put a lot of effort into making it happen, why are you working so hard? Inevitably, you have a program that doesn't support that conclusion and you're trying to override the program. So uh, you don't need to do a lot of strength and psychology stuff. You just look at your life and say, where am I struggling? Because wherever you're struggling, Inevitably, it's a program in your subconscious that does not support that destination you've been looking for. The conscious mind uh, is creative and can learn in any number of ways. Read a self-help book, go to a lecture, listen to this program, and conscious mind's going to get some awareness. And I go, yeah, but subconscious mind doesn't learn that way. I go, right, it doesn't. Subconscious mind learns in two fundamental ways, naturally. Hypnosis, which is the first seven years, and after age seven, how do you put new programs in? Repetition, practice. You want to drive a car, you didn't learn, learn how by just getting in the seat and put the key in, you had to practice driving the car. You want to learn uh, the alphabet. How many times did you go from A to Z, uh, you know, try to go to A to Z before you can complete it? And once you completed it, you didn't have to go back and do it again. So two phases, you want to train the subconscious mind? Hypnosis, uh, repetition. The, uh, I like the last one because there's a new phrase that's bandied about called fake it till you make it. Mm. Meaning, if you're not a happy person, I say you want to be a happy person, then repeat all the time. I'm happy. I'm happy. I say, well, you don't look happy or anything. I say, no, I, who am I talking to? By repetition, I'm talking to subconscious. If subconscious gets I am happy and 95% of your life comes from that subconscious, there will be a point once the subconscious got 
I am happy, you don't have to say it again. Okay. It'll be automatic. And that's why we see people do affirmations and gratitude journals and stuff, because if you do that daily... It's repetitive, and that's that's the secret part. Putting a sticky note on the refrigerator is more like a suggestion, but it's not a repetition. So it doesn't work very well. But you have to do, repetition is a, is a habit. It's making habit. So you got to do something religiously in the sense of repeating it, repeating it, repeating it to make it work.